Thank you so much for joining us for AFI Fest 2021 and for the Q&A for happening. I'm Julia Kipnis and I'm one of the programmers for the festival. We're so lucky to have here with us today, writer and director Audrey Duan. Congrats on such a powerful and moving film and thank you for being here. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Yes, we're so happy to have you. So to start things off, um, even though this film is set in 1960s and in France, the topic of abortion is still being stigmatized and illegal, is still affecting women today globally. What made you decide to tell this story now as your second film? And was there something specific about Annie Ernaux's novel that inspired you? Uh, unfortunately, I knew that uh, writing, directing a story about abortion, I would be in the news, in actuality. Unfortunately, it is always somewhere. And when I discovered Annie Arnaud's book, I was a, a huge fan of our other books, but I didn't know this one. Uh, when I discovered it, I realized how much nobody knows about that journey, you know, the conversation approach and its reality, second after second. Uh, and I was quite shocked. Also, I could uh, compare it to my own experience because when I had an abortion, I had it in a country where it's legal, where I was surrounded by doctors and helped, and that I don't have to put my life at risk. And I felt how cruel was the difference and how cruel it is to think that so in so many countries nowadays, girls still have to go through that path, you know? So I felt it you know, in my body and I really wanted to share it somehow. Yes. And were you able to consult with Annie or no at all for the script version? Uh, I've started by uh, going to her house and, and I told her what was my, my project because I really wanted us to agree on what was going to be the movie to find my way through her book. And basically I told her that the, the idea was not to try to look at Anne, at my character, but try to be her as an experience. And um, as soon as she agreed on that, um, we went through all the book once again. She, she went chronologically through the book, step by step. And she told me not only that what was in the book, but what was not in the book. And I have several questions to her about the social context, about the politics, about the fear, but also about friends and family, about this, all the sexual questions everything that undermined the, the, the story and that was very important to me. Yes, it's, it's a very visceral, intense films at times, with the, especially with the procedural scenes. What was the process like to shoot those and were they emotionally difficult to, to complete? Uh, I think that while you tr whenever you try to be honest, uh, creating something, it's never easy. So I was prepared for that. And Anna Maria Bartolome, my very brave actress, was also prepared to it. Um, the, the only thing that I had in mind is that I wanted it to be right. So I, whenever I have to show, whereas it's a sexual moment, because, you know, my movies are not, it's not only about abortion, but also what is very important to me. It talks about the female pleasure, about uh, sexuality in general, in, in the 60s also. Uh, and whenever I, I have to show something, to, uh, I was trying to figure out what is to me to make it right, you know, and make it right depend on two things. First of all, the length of the shot. I never wanted any feelings to be theoretical. So I wanted to share it in a way that you can also feel it. And it's a matter of time, how long it's going to last. So it has not to be too short, but also in the other way, it has not to be too long because to be too long, it's to be provocative. And the right lens, so the rightness of the shot uh, was to figure out on set. Uh, and then I never wanted to look away anyhow. And so it was it, it, the exact same idea expressed in another way. I, don't want to look away, but I don't want to look too much at things that a young girl would not face to, in a too frontal, too brutal way. So it's, I was wondering during all the shooting, you know, who's that girl and how is she looking at her own body? How is she watching her own experience as a, you know, how, how to make that look be the, 
as right as I wanted it to be. Yes, I think you're very successful in doing that. And you, you. you work yes, you work with um, an incredible cast, including the legendary Sandrine Bonaire and mm -hmm. also Luana Bajrami. And then there's the remarkable breakout performance from Anna Maria Bartolome as the lead character of Anne. How did you bring this incredible cast together? And then what was the working dynamic like on set? Uh, Sandrine Bonaire was very important to me because you know, one of the huge references of the movie is uh, Santoine Ilois d'Agnès Varda. The movie of Agnès Varda is about a woman desperately won and tried to be free. So she really inspired Anna Maria and I uh, creating the, the character of Anne. And I was very delighted when she said, I'm coming, because I have to tell you something. I've asked the actors I wanted to work with, and I had them, do you want to come? Not only do you want to play, but do you agree with the global project? Because, you know, the most well-known actors, they're coming, but they, they won't exactly be on screen the way they're used to. You know, sometimes there are just, uh, you, you, you see them, but not for, for a long time. And they all accepted the idea that the story comes first. So I was surrounded by people who actually believe in the topic, believe in the journey of Anne, and wanted to, to, to fight with me along my side to make the, the film exactly the way I had it in mind. So at first, the first thing I must say is I was lucky. I was lucky to have um, Sandrine Bonner, Anna Mouglalis, Pio Marmay, great French actors, and also Luana Bajrami because this girl is so smart, but she's also a filmmaker. She's only 19 and she's a, already a filmmaker. And first of all, I saw her for the part of Anne, the main character. And then I realized that I'm, Anna Maria was the right choice, but I really wanted to work with Luana. And she's so precise and so intense. And I explained her why Anna Maria was the right choice for the part. And she said, I'm with you. So, um, so yeah, she's, uh, she also is a young actress with a great maturity uh, in the way she goes and pick the parts that interest her. And then Anna Maria, you know, uh, I know that um, the actress would be the movie, something, you know, is, goes together. So it was a crucial choice and, um, I met her through a regular casting and I love the feeling I had when she entered the room because she's strong and mysterious at the same time because she's, she can give lots of emotion while not doing that much. And I like it's a style of acting that I'm really sensible to. And, um, and also I needed some, someone, a girl who can actually embody Agnano even if it's Anne, even if it's not her di directly. So I need someone who understand the, the texts, the books. So we talked at the very beginning, we talked for a very long time, like read that book, explain me what you feel about it. And, and you know, in a short period of time, I knew she was the one. Yes, she just, she's truly amazing in the film. And I'm also very curious if you've noticed a varied audience response to the film and the content, depending on the location of where you've screened it so far. Uh, yes, I must say it is very intense. Uh, I, I, just I, I just come back from Italy. So the, the, one of the reactions I will not forget is um, from journalist who said right away at the press conference, like, Okay, I must admit that it's against my conviction, like I'm against abortion because of my religion, but I was moved by the movie. I was moved in my body. And now I start asking myself questions in another way. And we talked about sexual freedom and why you also believe that women should be free. And you know, all the contradictions that we have to face of that, in that kind of situation, but I realized that what was happening was what I hoped, is that we are opening a discussion because I don't try to be polemical. I don't think polemic is interesting, not to me, but I deeply try to open a debate and have conversation. And I'm very happy by the way that I, I'm able to show the movie, not only to people who 
uh, share the same beliefs uh, with me, you know, but also to people who are against abortion. I mean, it's very interesting to show it not only to women, but also to men and to see how they react. And I think we're all making the journey together. And, and that's very interesting to me. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that everyone gets a chance to see it. And I'm, I'm curious, um, was the film completed pre-pandemic or during? And how has this era of COVID affected your artistic and filmmaking practices? Uh, it was in between. We've started shooting just after the first wave. And actually, the only thing that really changed is the first lockdown, because with Anna Maria, we had much more time, a time we, we weren't supposed to have. So one day on two, we talked, uh, we worked through Zoom, you know, and uh, uh, we exchanged references. Like I was like, um, have you seen Varda? Have you seen uh, Elephant from the Sunsons? Have you seen Rosetta from Les Dardenne? And she also would tell me, but I think something is inspiring me. I just saw Brokeback Mountain and the, the secret, the way he handled the secret. And so we kept exchanging references, books, movies. And when we finally got to meet, to meet each other again, we were not the same person anymore. We have common references. We have so much more in common talking about and we knew the character. So yeah, I, I realized through that experience, that random experience, how much time is, is important, how much we should all need, we, we, we all need that time to actually share ideas about the characters. Definitely. And during the actual production, were there any, you know, magical alignments or difficult challenges that you had to overcome or even in post? Um, okay, it was not easy to find the money to make the movies. Uh, fortunately, I've, I have producers, Edouard Vey and Ali Girard, who are fighters. And while, and while Bunch also, they never let me down. After the first movies, they said, okay, we understand what you want to do with the happening. And we know it's not going to be easy, but we'll be on, on your side. And, and they've been and it took us a while to find the money for, for many reasons. You know, the topic is not easy. The grammar of the, movie, of the film, the way I wanted to shoot it, the, the special frame, the young actors that are not that famous. Um, I, I thought the industry was shy in a way, but for reasons that I can understand, but also I don't know it for sure, but I felt that some people were not happy with the topic. You know, I, I think some people were against abortion, but they would never say it clearly because it was so easy to find another way to say no to the movie. So it took us a while. And um, also I'm lucky because in France, you know, we have like public ads that really helped me doing the movie CNC, all the help of the regions. But uh, I think without the public helps, I couldn't have met the movie. Well, it's been super successful. Congrats on The Golden Lion. Thank um, you so much. Yes. And do you have any um, projects that you're currently working on or um, have burning for the future, brewing for the future? I have. Uh, there, there is a movie that I've started writing uh, last summer thinking, honestly, if everything goes wrong in Venice, I still know my road and I know what I will, I will do next. Uh, this also this also works when everything turns right. So <laughs> I'm still uh, I'm still working on it, but it's I'm at the very beginning, so I can't tell you much more about it. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to be in my writing room again now. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Well, we've reached the end of the Q and A, Audrey. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Any final words you'd you. like to give our audience? Yeah, I hope I, I was clear because you know I'm 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 so tired that sometimes I miss my English, but uh, I hope they got the general feelings of what was the fight to make happening happened, and uh, I hope they felt it the way I wanted to share it with them. Yes, thank you so much. We love your film. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too.